Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go and do potentially another challenge. We've um, we've not really been doing too many challenges recently so we could do a few. Po what does Pong do? Um, let's try Bloody Mary again. We did try Bloody Mary a while back and it is just a brutally difficult challenge. Um, so why not give it a go? Why not give it a go? Yeah. Very, very difficult challenge. We start with a good amount of red hearts and ability to gain red hearts, but we do have no ability to gain soul hearts, of course, and... Oh, excuse me. And, um, unfortunately, we have the blood earth, so... It's going to be a little risky when it comes to uh, the next floor every single time. You watch this guy give me HP as well. You know he will, not, because I can't grab it. <laughs> Look at that, boy. Look at that. You know what? I'll pop in here and see what's what. Not bad, not bad. Guppy's Tale's a little risky because, obviously, we don't have keys right now, but I think getting a Guppy item off the bat on a challenge like this could be very beneficial, so let's just take the risk. As for the question of the day-to-day, -day, um, what is something, like, what's a trend that you've noticed recently that's really just getting out of hand? That's just like, it's gone too far, it needs to stop, what's going on? <laughs> There's so many of them, like, it's, it's, you basically have a complete, like, just, there's, there's just too many to even mention, to be honest, but still. Um, Soul Heart doesn't do anything for us, Perky Ghost, whatever. Um, unfortunately, Converter doesn't do anything for us, which is a shame, because Converter would be really good if we could actually use it. Oh, I should not have picked that up yet. That's very good, but I don't think I'm going to be keeping it, do you? Of course, all of these are turning into the headless ones that are actually really hard now. Because they jump about. Oh, no, these aren't the ones that jump. Okay, that's not too bad. Judgment. I'm just going to pop it and see what we get. Yeah. Could have got Contraband there, so why not? I think, I think the Judgment can spawn the Contraband one. I'm not entirely sure, actually. I'm not entirely sure. We've got our space bar item for the boss. We should be okay here to do an, to do this boss without getting hit, I'd hope. We shall see, I guess. We shall see. Okay, we got rid of the main threats already. Okay, those guys have only been two hit with this damage. Is very, very nice. Get a bit of a tyrant right now. Ah, fuck. I'm trying to kill this bloody bastard. There you go, I got him. Okay, we are golden. We're good. Unfortunately, not a great uh, item there for us, but it's something. Okay, next floor. And we are on to the hard bit of the challenge now, where we have half a heart. <laughs> yeah, this... It, basically, it's kind of like playing as Judas at the start of every floor. Makes things a lot, lot harder for us most of the time. It's quite, quite scary. But it's kind of a fun challenge, though, I guess. It's kind of a fun challenge. At the minute, I'm uh, I'm kind of at the uh, point of... Ooh, filigree feather. I think we'll take that. Um, we're, I'm at the point now of uh, wanting to sort of backlog as many Isaac episodes as I can. I've, I've been kind of putting it off for a while, and I'll be honest, I've been sort of in a bit of a YouTube rut recently, I think, and I kind of need to help myself get out of it, and I think basically just bulk recording some Isaac and then having a little bit of a break from Isaac will help with that quite a bit. So that's kind of what I've got on my mind right now. And we'll see how that goes, I guess. Um, but also, like, the new Warzone's coming out, um, and it's my girlfriend's birthday coming up this weekend, so I've got, like, multiple reasons to um, to sort of take a break and play other stuff and do other things. That's kind of my, my thinking right now. I don't know, do any of you guys have a game like that where you just love it, but you play it, like, too much? <laughs> and it can be a little bit, like, sometimes you're like, damn, I need I need to break. I, I think Isaac's like that for a lot of people. I think it's just one of those types of games. Um, obviously, it's more so for me because, like, 
while I'd still enjoy playing it and I'd just stop if I didn't, I do have a semi-obligation to play it. <laughs> uh, it's it's, it's an, a self-inflicted obligation, mind you, but it means that sometimes um, the game can get a bit stale or if, um, if I'm not doing too hot in the game, it could be a bit frustrating. I don't know. Right. So I'm annoying we didn't get that HP the last floor, but it is what it is. What we need is we need some really good on-hit effects to trigger um, at the end of... Um, the, like the start of every floor because blood earth for every heart you lose triggers each on hit effect of that so getting like old bandage would be super super useful why are we getting devil deals i'm confused by that anyways i don't want devil deals i've got filigree feather does this guy fire i can never remember if these guys shoot Yeah, the minute we're starting out on pretty, pretty low damage compared to the last floor. We didn't get anywhere near as many red hearts as I was hoping we would. Okay, these guys don't leave blood creep on the floor behind their eyes. It's just behind their bodies. Oh! Okay, I didn't actually realize that that's what that guy did. I wasn't really paying enough attention, I guess. Okay, it's fine. We're going to have some restarts as this. I think we're probably going to want to restart. Uh, or do a few few of the first floors every time until we get some really shit hot item. I think we kind of need damage or, uh, like I said, like old bandage or something, like early on. Otherwise, it's going to be tricky. Um, this is rather nice. Yeah, it's just this one that I can go through. I'm excited. Beautiful stuff. Thank you, game. It's okay. A bunch of these guys. Oh, to be fair, these guys can just run themselves into fires, so <laughs> that makes life a lot easier. Yeah. I wasn't sure if they'd do that, but they did, and it was nice. Do you know what? Let's double it up and go extra damage on this guy. I don't exactly need the charges for anything else, I don't think. Makes our life a lot easier being able to uh, kill this guy pretty quick. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we get like all bandage or something real good as our first first item from our boss, because otherwise it's going to be tricky. We unfortunately got I'm excited here, so a little bit of a harder boss fight here, especially the, the orbs, but I don't know. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. I'm not liking this room design of having these uh, spikes and the, the rocks in the way. It's very, very annoying. Well, that's a damage up at least. That's, that's something very, very nice. And that's a pretty good start. Still puts us in a rough spot for uh, for HP, obviously. That doesn't fix that at all, but makes me feel better. Hey, we got some HP there. Lovely. And we even got a Soiled Heart as well, actually, which is quite nice. I don't think we'll get to keep the Soiled Heart. I think Blood Earth next floor will delete it from us. But at the end of it, rooms, we'll sometimes get a dip, which is pretty nice. We also got a High Priestess card here, which is going to be really, really nice for um, killing this next boss instantly. Oh, dude. More damage. And we got ourselves, nah. Um, we got ourselves more damage here. I'm very happy about that. This is rather nice. I'm sure I just let you run at me because, yeah, you're going to be a problem otherwise, aren't you? Oh, God. I'm excited. It's still here. Okay, no, we managed to do it. We managed to curve the bullet. Right. Yeah, this is, this is much better so far. We don't have any great way of health regain, but otherwise it's good. Once we've got good health regain abilities, then we're in a better position. Okay, let's kill this little midgy dude first before we use um, this. There you go. Otherwise, it was just going to get the wrong one, wasn't it? Clearly. That's actually potentially pretty good. We'll take that. Um, we will grab that and we'll pop that. Spin down dice. Heck yes. Right, let's go. Spin down could be real good. All we need is um, toothpicks. Right, will it get rid of our soiled heart? It does indeed. And we did get a dice shard here as well, so some good stuff on our side here. But yeah, we are still obviously in a pretty dire position now. The thing is, a run can be super, super solid on this... Um, with this challenge but it doesn't it doesn't matter you start a half a heart every floor all it takes is one mistake early on and you're pretty much burned luckily 
We are getting ha uh, hearts more often from um, Child's Heart and stuff, so that's not bad. Okay, good. Not bad. Looking for as many hearts as we can possibly get our cheeky little hands on. Not a particularly big fan of you guys and the stone rocks there, so let's try and take you out. You're also letting this little dude out, which I'm not a fan of. Okay. Hey, that's what we like to see. Back into the ability to actually play the game without panic. Or without too much panic, should I say. It's not completely without panic. There's still some settled in there, deep below the surface. All these guys throw up on us. Let's try and kill him. Morbid Heart. I don't know how Morbid Heart's going to work with Blood Earth, to be fair. That might be quite good. Okay. Good thing is, we're not looking for item room or anything, so we can beeline it straight to the boss for the most part and be relatively safe in doing so. Tinted Rock there, I've just, see, just seen. I mean, soul hearts aren't great for us, but it's something. Right. You're a boss that I'm still not particularly familiar with your patterns. So, we're going to have to see how this goes. We did manage to get a good bomb on you there. I think we're good. Yes, we are. That's going to be latch key, so we don't really care about that. Um, we'll just take this as it is. Come in here. Breath of Life. Um, I don't even know what this spins down into, but I, I think I should spin down. Um, are these infinite sacks? What, what are these holy sacks about? Okay, so I think I think I've got an idea here. So I think I'm gonna go. Let's uh, let's kill you you guys one at a time and spin down everything. So we're definitely gonna get Death's Touch that way. Um, Death's Touch is guaranteed. And then whatever Breath of Life spins down into, which I honestly have no idea what it would be. But hopefully it's something that isn't an active item. Or something that, at least if it is, it's an actually good one that's going to be useful for us. Breath of Life isn't even bad. I'm just not familiar enough with the new version of it to actually use it effectively. So I just don't want to. Oh, we got... We don't have to spin these down, of course. I completely forgot about that. We've got Filigree Feather. Completely forgot about that. Well, that's helpful, at least. That's something. We'll see if we can get any good items from these. And then if not, we can try and spin them down to something better, can't we? Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that my uh, Morbid Heart here helps us not take as much damage from the... Um, what's it called? On the next floor. Um, so... Okay, I'm going to spin down all of these. Unfortunately, we got King Scissors. But Mustard Seed and the, what's it called, thing you want is pretty good. But Scissors, obviously not great. Right. We've got to quickly go back because we did have a, um, what's it called? We did have a Spin Down Shard. Also, I think Mustard Seed was a health up, which is rather nice. Um, not a Spin Down Shard, a Dice Shard over here, which I would very much like to bring with me because could be really, really good in a future Angel deal. But yeah, I completely forgot about Filigree Feather for a hot moment there. I was going to spin it down to Death Touch because um, one of the key pieces spins down to Death Touch. But I don't know. Those items are pretty good. Old Bell, by the way, was pretty good. I could have taken it. But you, just losing damage versus Mustard Seed, which is like guaranteed value and a health up. More, more partial to that. It doesn't prevent us from losing HP. That's a bit annoying. Um, oh, Not great. We do have good damage now, though. Very good damage indeed. Despite our tears looking teeny weeny. Right, I'm going to just take some time here to destroy some poops without focusing on these enemies so that I can maybe get some HP. Mustard Seed doing some good stuff for us, potentially. Really, not a single one of you gave me any HP. I got them need HP. Okay, this guy can just 
He, yeah, yeah. He can do that. He can yeet himself at me, and I do not like that. Come on, game. Any red heart, any time now. Would be ideal. Hey, there's a half a heart at least. It's something. It's something. We're at least not one hit off basic enemies now. Only champions can one shot us now. Okay. Very bit of a speedy boy. Hey, and there's a full red heart. Okay, we're back in the game, baby. We're back in the game. Our damage right now is so good as well. Oh, I'm not not a fan of this situation. The enemies are a bit hard to uh yep. Bit hard to kill without getting up close and personal. And then I get up close and personal and then I get hit. These guys with their predictive aim shots can be a real pain as well. I guess I'll check in here at this point for Red Hearts. Modeling clear. Ooh, baby. That could be very, very good. Right. Let's try and get another penny from somewhere and make that work, because that could be that could be more angel deals on our side, which is always nice. Don't want cracked dice, thank you. I very much prefer filigree feather. Liking mustard seed right now, it seems to be helping out a good amount. Right, try and get a single penny from this room. There you go. And yeah, I gotta say, our book has been very good to us, but I think the ability to just gain more items over the course of a run is gonna be very, very nice, especially considering, like, boss items can be HP and stuff like that. Being able to duplicate those seems very, very useful. Right, careful of all these little spiders. Soul Heart there that doesn't do much for us. This guy's going to be a bit annoying regardless here. Yeah. Just got to expect all the rocks to fall. Okay, nice. We got him. See, this is great. Meat, we can duplicate. We get more damage out of it and more HP. Obviously, fantastic for us. Um... And then we keep on going down, I think. Hopefully we can get another angel deal here. Obviously not super easy for us to grab, but we'll try. Hey, that's good. Half, so half a red hat off the bat is very, very nice. Books here. Don't really know if it's going to be very valuable for us, but I'll, I'll check it out, obviously. Yeah, unfortunately. All sorts of trash books here. <laughs> I could Dice Shard and try to get something better, but I can at least get Bookworm right now. Something, at least. The rest of that's kind of not really great for us. Okay. Hey, there you go. Once once our morbid heart is filled up, I'm happy. Once we've reached that point, I'm like, okay, we, we have some safety now. Is this secret room, by the way? I think it is. It's not. Okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Interesting room there. Oh, very, very bad hit. Very, very bad hit. Completely nonsensical hit. So, okay, the Morbid Heart is saving us right now. Don't really know where I'm going right now, so this is a little bit iffy. I'm liking just having extra friendlies to help us out from, uh, what's it called? Mustard Seed on occasion, especially this Regrower guy, because he's just regrowing for us. Now, the good thing is we can steal items from shops with this item. So, we can come in here, and if there's anything good, we can steal it. 
We could steal Perkiger. I'm kind of convinced right now to do that. Right. Come on, health. Where art thou? Okay, this is an annoying room here, so let's be careful. These Charger babies could be really problematic for us if we're not careful. Health! Yes! Okay, 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 okay. This is also a really annoying room for us. Be careful. Justice is more health. Good, good. More damage for next floor. And more safety for this floor. Ah, we killed our boy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to end this way. More health. Good, good. I think we're heading the right way towards the boss, by the way, as well. Seems like it. Okay, very easy room here for us. We've got our dice shard and our thingy uh, available right now. This is Dank Depths 1, okay. This guy's a bit annoying. He does his jumping, which is not ideal. He's throwing enemies all around the ring. I'm having a hard time getting rid of, actually. And then he pops up out of any one of these as different variants of himself, right? I don't really know what this little orb thing here is. I'm keeping my distance. I don't really know if it's working. Okay, we did it. Unfortunately, that is definitely not something we want, so let's go grab Perkiger. Uh, actually, should I re-roll this first? Let's re-roll this. Yeah, okay, we re-roll and we, we grab double HP. <laughs> and that makes the most sense. Lovely. Back down to panic mode. Back down to panic mode. Ooh, I do not like this room. Good to get a Bernie on our side, though. That's nice. But yeah, 14.38 damage because of all that uh, red heart HP. Very nice to see that. This is a horrible room for us right now. I've got to be very careful where I kill that little fly boy. There you go. Just had to kill him in the right spot, otherwise he was going to definitely hurt me. Secret room, lovely. Job's Leper Flesh is, is good stuff. Um, although, not really. I'm, I'm going to... I was just about to say I'm going to re-roll it. No, I'm not going to re-roll it, because I can't get to it unless I have flight. So. But right now, I'm not going to do anything with it. I don't think it's a good idea to take the uh, Rotten Heart right now. I think that would certainly mess us up. I suppose technically I know I could re-roll it uh, because then I could grab whatever's in there with with uh, my space bar. So might not be a bad idea actually. Is that a five room. It is. Eh, it's a bit of a risk, but I'm gonna do it. Odd mushroom. Yes, I'll take that. Much higher fire rate for a very small damage down. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's nice that. So sometimes it's like you don't need it for duplicating an item. You need it for getting an item. Does Blood Earth have like a more blood on the actual thing itself, the familiar, the more hearts it takes? Because it seems way more bloody than normal. It's a shame you can't keep using this active item with their uh, soul hearts. Imagine that, it'd be super overpowered. Right, this is a nightmare of a room, as any room with these enemies in is. But we got through it just fine. Yeah, I don't think I actually want to do a five room, to be honest. I don't really see the, the, the benefit too much. Don't see the benefit too much of that. One second. Da, 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 da. 
one moment. Okay. Right, yeah, just go straight for the boss at this point. Regular mum, we shouldn't have too much issues here. Okay. Easy. Easy. Unfortunately, a devil deal again, but honestly, devil deal might not be that bad, depending on the item. I think I will take this. I know that obviously Angel Deals are way better for us, but still. Right, let's go. Yeah, being be able to grant extra tears up and stuff per kill is nice, so I'll take that. Spawn two batteries doesn't really help us. Right, so this is really where shit hits the fan. Golden Bomb's kind of nice. See if we can make use of that at some point. Not liking the enemies being able to be reborn. That's not helpful to us in any way, shape, or form. <gasps> Another Morbid Heart. Okay, that's that's pretty fantastic. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a troll bomb. That's why I just ran straight on through. Game likes to uh, troll with me with the troll bombs. Take out all of these first, and then get onto these fellas, whatever they're doing. Yeah, the rebirthing is not a great thing for this floor, but hey her. Um, blank rune, I guess. Try and re-roll. No, it's just Yera. Doesn't do much for us. Okay, I'll leave that as it is then. And hopefully, keep it. Oh, come on, that was. Those enemies should have died. That was very annoying to see. Okay, this is... This is an absolutely, yeah, disgusting room. This room is gross beyond... Beyond repair. I hate this. Okay, thank goodness that gave us one of the heart clusters. Because that was a horrible room and I need to be rewarded for having to play through that. That was awful. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Some really, really horrible rooms we're getting here. Okay. Just try and keep on the straight and arrow. Straight and narrow, not the straight and... Is it straight and arrow or straight and narrow? I never really know. Both sound right. Straightened arrow, straight and narrow. Both kind of sound... Straightened arrow sounds like the, 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 the one that it should be. But both sound like they work, right? I think I just rebirth. Okay. Good stuff. Double up on this. Good stuff all around here, I think. Right. Next floor. Things are looking good, but like I said, this challenge, it doesn't matter if things are looking good. Things could go so wrong so easily with just one bad room. And this looks like said one bad room. Okay, these things explode into shots when you kill them, so as long as we're killing them at a distance, we should be fine. Lots of large rooms here. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, for God's sake. That was a horrible room. Anyways, I guess we'll leave this episode off there. That was a fun attempt. I think I do want to try and do more challenges and try and get some of these done because there's some good unlocks here. Um, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.